And so we are going to look at the uh, ionization of bases and uh, what the implication is for base concentration. And so sodium hydroxide, which uh, quite often you get as a solid pellet when it's in its pure form, you put it in water and obviously it's going to ionize. Sodium hydroxide actually is a strong base. In other words, it's mostly completely ionized when it gets into water. So this is the reaction. Notice the one-way arrow because this is a strong base. It ionizes and does not come back. Okay, so it ionizes into a sodium ion and an hydroxide ion. Both of these are in water. It's aqueous. Notice that you are getting one hydroxide in solution for every one particle of sodium hydroxide that's there. So it's a one-to-one -one relationship. Um, just a word on bases. You look around and if there's an OH, it's probably a base because it give, puts the hydroxyl ion into the water when it uh, enters the water. So what will the concentration of hydroxide ions be in 0.1 mole per liter sodium hydroxide? Since this is a one-to-one -one relationship, the answer is 0.1 moles per liter of OH minus ions when you put uh, 0.1 moles of sodium hydroxide in uh, one liter of water.